and now give you the floor, Minister of the International Federation for Family Development. You have the floor. Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you for staying this long to listen to the civil society. And according to the latest report of the Secretary General on Sustainable Cities, the share of the world's population living in urban areas is expected to increase from 55% in 2018 to 60% in 2030. The speed and scale of urbanization brings challenges for all family members, such as children, parents, youth, persons with disabilities, and older persons. The inter International Federation for Family Development, present in 68 countries, is leading the Inclusive Cities for Sustainable Families project in the context of the SDG 11 and the new urban agenda. The project has held two focus group meetings in Italy and Brazil, gathering experts, policymakers, and civil society members. The objective is to find out how modern cities can be resilient and constantly diagnosed of their strength so that families can find a proper place to live in. Mr. Chairman, up until now, experts and stakeholders of the project have agreed on the following recommendations. Cities design should consider all family situations and social groups, flexible, urban, and environmentally sustainable planning, and social services for all. They should also facilitate access to housing, including promotion of smart co-housing solutions, efficient energy saving, and intergenerational arrangements to provide care for older persons and affordable housing for young. Cities should improve the link between the new technologies and social inclusion to bridge the digital gap via training of older persons and professional carers. Also focus on accessible and affordable childcare facilities close to the residence or workplace of parents, parenting education, and intergenerational education strategies for all. Design specific programs to recognize the value of unpaid care and address the needs of families in vulnerable situations, including single-parent families, migrant families, and large families. Promote a welcoming environment on, on the streets, welcome mutual support and social interaction through volunteers, neighborhood police, and other new technologies. In conclusion, city leaders must move quickly to plan for each one of these aspects, as the capacity to tackle challenges is essential to assure a safe growth of all family members and therefore the whole society. Thank you, Mr. Chair.